What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be kicking off a new Wolves series called Wolves This Week. Basically what it is, is a series where I recap all of the things revolving around Wolves in the past week. Self-explanatory really, um, including uh, transfer news and the games that have been going on this week. Um, so for this week I'm going to be recapping the transfer news and the games in pre-season, uh, including the Euron Cup games. Starting with the transfer news, and starting with Jao Mario. Now, it was first reported uh, that Wolves were going to sign him um, o over the coming days. Um, and then, um, it, it was also reported that uh, Wolves would need to pay around £24 million um, if um, if Wolves wanted uh, Jean Mario's services, um, and then in the, the the past couple of days, uh, Real Betis uh, from La Liga have got involved, and uh, they thought, hmm, may maybe we should have him. So, um, yeah, um, there's been loads. Uh, going on, there's been loads going on about this transfer, and um, yeah, it, it went it went from uh, it being reported that Jao Mario was uh, going to be linking up with his uh, Portugal teammate Ru Patricio um, at Wolves over the coming days, uh, and now it's come to um, two clubs battling it out, um, battling it out for Jao Mario. Um, in uh, Wolves and Real Betis from uh, La Liga. Next, um, rumoured uh, alongside Jaime Mario uh, is uh, Andre Silva. Um, and now th this one, this one uh, came up uh, uh, in January, but um, we didn't really uh, think anything of it. Really, could, it could possibly be on a loan move. It's it was being reported. Um, and uh, confirmed by the uh, AC Milan sporting director uh, that that they would happy be happy uh, to uh, let Andre Silva go um, on on a loan move. Um, Galatasaray are also interested um, in in uh, Andre Silva's uh, services as well. Um, so again. Uh, we're gonna have to battle it out uh, between um, bet between us and, and Galatasaray if uh, if we want uh, Andre Silva's services. But the thing is, um, would 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 he be useful to the squad? Would he would he get get ten plus goals a season at least? Uh, that would help us uh, to survival uh, in the Premier League, um, and in my opinion, I don't think he would. And at AC Milan, he played twenty four games but only scored two goals. Now, if if you're a striker and you score two goals in twenty four games, um. Just something tells me that you're not doing your job properly if you're scoring two goals in 24 games. So that's uh, an, an average of uh, of uh, a goal every 12 games, basically. A goal every 12 games. That that's that's not uh, uh, a proven striker to me. Um. So yeah, I, I don't think really I I would want him at the club, um, but if if he if he links up well uh, with the others uh, with the with the others around him and he links up play well uh, like like Bonatini did uh, for the second half of last season while he wasn't scoring goals, then I think that that would be uh, uh, that that would be all right, uh, but still. A goal every twelve games is not that good uh, of a of an average, really, is it? Don't think um, I would, I'd have him 
personally, but uh, if it's on a low move, then we can always um, we can always just uh, not go for the permanent deal. So the 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 low move for me could could be possible, but I I don't think I don't think um, I don't think he would be a very good. Uh, signing for the squad personally, but yeah, as as I say, numbers uh, don't tell you the whole sco whole story. Moving on to the Euron Cup uh, now. Moving on to the Euron Cup now. The first game um, was against Basel, uh, which we won two one. Uh, Rafa Mir. Uh, getting on the score sheet and Diogo Jota. First half was kind of like um, a team, mostly of academy players. Then in the second half, um, a lot of the big boys came on. Uh, Diogo Jota came on and he scored. Uh, Bonatini came on as well. Uh, Helder Costa came on. I managed to uh, watch a, a bit of the second half, the um, Basel um the the Basel website um as it were as they were live streaming so um so yeah it was a decent performance in the second half and um glad we got the win moving on to the second game which uh we won four 0 against young boys uh who who are the reigning Swiss champions uh, uh, even better performance there um Bonatini Cavallero uh, Costa uh, and uh, Rafa Mir all getting on the, the score sheet. That meant uh, we won the Euron Cup, um, which is great. Which is great. It's nice to win silverware uh, before you start the season. It's it's nice because it, it builds you up for the season and and it it, it it's nice. Uh, because you're winning games and and you've won something before the season starts, and it, it kind of builds you up. It builds your confidence. Uh, and then uh, moving on yesterday uh, to a friendly game at the Banksy Stadium um, against Ajax. We went behind uh, late on in the first half. Uh, we went behind, um, and then uh, Ruben Neves. Uh, pulled it back um, 16 minutes from time uh, through the penalty spot um, to salvage a draw. Moving on to, to that, the H Ho Hotels Cup now on, on Sunday, um, uh, which we are partaking in. Um, uh, and it's between us, uh, VFL uh, Bosham, uh, Real Batiste, um, and... And uh, also Borussia Mönchengladbach as well. Uh, if we manage to win that as well, uh, so that'll be that'll be um, two things won in a week, basically, which which will be absolutely brilliant le leading up to the season. That will build even more confidence, obviously. Uh, expect um, some transfer videos coming out on the channel uh, in the next few days. Until then, goodbye, guys.